Okay, ladies. Uh, this is going to be your uh, pink butter. I mean, pink uh, fish. I'm sorry, the pink fish with seaweed and water waves. Okay. What you're going to need are acrylic glosses, white, black, red, green, and pink. Pink you're going to need a lot. White you're going to need a lot. You're going to need about half uh, for your uh, green, but your white, I mean your red and your black, you only need a little dollop because they're, they're not very dominant in this particular glass. Okay, we are going to start off with our medium brush. Okay, and uh, other supplies that you'll need are a styrofoam cup that you put rubbing alcohol in. There's some cotton balls for cleanup, and also there are some Q-tips for cleanup just in case you get a little messy. You also need uh, a napkin or paper towel to wipe your brush off on. So in order to make sure that our brush bristles are moving along, we're going to go ahead and dip that in the alcohol, just move it around a little bit, and then wipe that excess alcohol off. Now for the fish, we're going to make sure that we are blending two colors. So remember in blending before, we use one side of the pink, and then we're going to do one side of the white, and then in the middle, we're going to go one, two, three, to blend. You're going Because you're coming from a clean brush, we're going to do that a second time. So pink, then white, line them back up again, and then one, two, three. Okay, your brush is loaded. Now, what we're going to the, the base of the body is going to be um, like a football. So, what you're going to do is you're going to just start where you want and you're just going to make an oval. Nice, big, fat oval. And then you're going to close it. Okay, so it's more like the shape of a football. You're going to turn your glass over and you're going to do the same thing. Go ahead and load your brush, pink, then white. Line them up, one, two, three. And then you're going to, again, make that oval. Or football. And close it. Okay. Don't worry about the ends of them. The end of it because you're going to put a tail back there so it can be a little uh, off center. If you want to make it a little bit more prominent, go ahead and do that at this time. This is just your top, your first coat, which is your blueprint. So if you want to make it a little bit more shapely. Go ahead and do that at this time. They are not going to be the same size, so don't try to do that. It's okay for them to be odd shaped. Just make sure that you smooth out. It's best to do strokes over than do pat, 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 because it'll show. Whatever you do will show, okay? So while we're waiting for those, to dry we're going to go on to the the top fins okay now the top fins are you're still going to use your your blend so you're going to get pink and white and then you're going to blend them on the inside of here now i'm only doing that all in the same space i'm not doing it all over the place i'm just staying in the same place so don't Make a mess all over it because you're going to have to blend some other colors later. Okay, now you have to determine where you want to start your fins. I say about an inch back. And all you're doing is you're going to pull and shape. 
pull and shape. You see this? Pull and shape. Pull and shape. So you're just putting them right across the top till you get to the back. Then from the back, you're going to go pull. Same mo motion, except for now you're going to come out. And you're going to do three of those right at the back. This is your blueprint. You're going to perfect them on the next coat. Do not worry about uh, whether or not they're all straight now, okay? Now, if you look, there is a double fin at the bottom, and we're going to do that now. Again, this is a blueprint. Now, you're just, for, for that one, your stroke is just flatten it out and pull, flatten it out and pull. Okay? Now, you're going to take turn it over and you're going to do this proceed to do the same thing on the other side. Remember to load your brush. And then one, two, three. And you'll notice I'm doing that a lot. That's to make sure that you have enough paint on your um, brush to start. Again, we're going to make those little little footballs. One, two. Three. Four on that one. Yep, four. So we're going to match that and do four again. Now, after you've done those, load your brush again. And then we're going to proceed on to the tail. I'm moving through this fast because I want them to kind of dry at the same time. Okay, so from here. And so you're just going to two and then three. Okay. Okay. See that? Turn over. See that? Okay, now those all need to dry before we proceed. So I'm going to pause and we'll come back when I... Have, it's 10 minutes okay first coats done dry so we're going to go ahead and add the second coat so again we're blending in white and then we're going to pink and white okay now we did go into the body on the uh, fins on the top we're going to go right over them on the body. That's to help them to look like they're growing out of the body. Okay, keep your pink to the outside and your white to the inside. And you're just going to keep pulling it, pulling that paint until, but don't press hard. You are painting over paint and it will start to move. Okay? So now you're going to go ahead and touch your fins up a little. And your tail. Just go put it put a nice light coat over the top of what you've already done. It should be opaquing it and making it less wispy. And for your your bottom one you can actually you don't if you don't have to I'm not gonna redo that one because those came out really good the first time so quickly turn over to the other side and again we're gonna go right over the tips of those fins right over them and then we're gonna go ahead and get the other side and then we're gonna close Okay, good. 
okay, closed. Okay, now we're going to go back to those fans. And just give them a little bit of a darkening. Okay, and then the tail feather. For the tail fan. Okay, now remember you're painting over paint. Don't press hard. It will move the paint. Again, don't press hard. Make sure you have enough paint on your brush where you won't have to. Again, the bottom fan. Flick. Flick. I really like that one, so I'm going to use a Q-tip to just take that right back off. I'm just using a dry Q-tip, and just like an eraser, you just pull it right back off. Okay. And then we'll go back in again and give it a flick. Okay, that's better. Okay. Okay. Now we're going to let that settle. Now, if you have any, like, really thick paint globs, go ahead and smooth those out gently. Be very, very gentle with it. Okay, that's it. Okay, so here's another pause because we do need to let that dry, okay? Okay. While that's drying, we're going to go ahead and we're going to do the seaweed. Okay, the seaweed is very easy. You're just going to take your brush and stick it straight down into the green paint and then straight down into the white paint so you have both colors on there. Then you're going to do one little flick on your palette. Now you're going to start them right at the base of the bell. So, and they're just squigglies. Now if you notice, I did... Some smaller ones up under the bottom ones, but the major ones are right in here. And that's about four of them. There's no wrong or right way to do this. You're just going to... See that? Dip, dip, flick. And... Don't make them all the same cut, same size. Dip, dip, flick. And you're going to continue on around the bottom, from the bottom up. Always go from the bottom up because you have more control when you are painting away from yourself. When you're painting towards yourself, you, you're messing with your depth perception and you're just making little ribbons so you don't have to get uh, really uh, exact with it. You can just kind of just make sure that you have them going around. So I made the whole round, see? Okay, and I'm going to clean my brush. I did use the small round brush, which is your detail brush. So whenever you're doing detail, you will be using this brush. Please do go ahead and clean that one because uh, we're going to move right on to detailing on your actual fish. So get, make sure you get that green off of there because you don't want it in the body of it. Okay, now if you look at your demo, you've got a whole face. Oh, let's see if I can put something behind this. Let's see. Okay. Okay. Do you see the face and the outlines in white? There are some, some, uh, some detailing and dots along here. And then these are just flicks. 
of white paint in there. Okay, and that's how we're going to define his face. Okay, that's better. Can you see him? Isn't he pretty? <laughs> okay, anyway. So let's go back to our glass we're making. Okay, so we're going to start off with our white paint again. So we're just going to get white. Okay, now with the white, we're going to start detailing. Now detailing is basically showing what, giving, you're giving him a face now. You're giving the, the uh, fins their own definition. Not so far. Just going along the top, keep that white paint moving on there because, and you can just do it kind of wispy. You don't have to do hard line it. And you're just going along the outside, see, the outsides of the actual fins that you've already done. Now do that with all of them. Turn over and get a face. And the first, we're just going to follow those lines. That you've already made. Give you a little bit of time to do that. Don't touch up here. Anything else? The paint paint. I need that to be a little bit more detailed. Okay. Now that's what we have so far. Okay. I could do one more right, right on this tail here. Keep it wispy, no hard lines on the paint. Your third one. Just keep the line going the way. So you see him? Okay, now clean that off. And, oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Get another nice dollop of white. And we're going to make the eye. So you have to select where you want your eye to be. And you're just going to dot it into the circle with the end. Him. Okay. Now leave that alone to dry because it is beveled before you put your black dot in. Now you see the lips. Those are red. You're going to just take that brush, stick it that same brush, stick it down in the red paint. Get a nice amount of red paint because you're not going to paint it on. You're going to just lay it down. So you're going to go right Right where that white line is, where you made the start of the face, you're going to slant one going that way. Pick it up, turn it, and you're going to slant the other one going that way. Go straight off. Okay. 
So you didn't paint it on, you just laid it on. Okay, good. Go ahead and clean that off. Good. Okay, now you're going to do the same thing with the other fish. I'm under time constraints now, so I'm going to go ahead and go on to the the waves on the water, of the water on the uh, anchor. Okay, so you're going to grab your medium brush again. Go ahead and clean that pink off of there really good. And you're going to do the same thing in loading your brush. You're going to put blue on one side, flip it over, and get white on the other side. And then you're going to go in the middle and you're going to go one, two, three. You're going to do it twice. And it's my white there. Okay, we'll go one, two, three. Now, on your glass, on your glass, you're just going to and you're going to load again. Do about three and then one side just go three and just covering it with squigglies. Turn that over. Do the same thing. Same thing on the other side of the bag. Then you're going to get some more paint and you're going to finish, finish it. So Okay, and if you want to do a second coat of them afterwards, feel free to do that just to flesh out your waves, okay? So that's all the way around. Okay, now we're going to clean our brush. Okay, now we need to put the black dot for the eye on. So what we're going to do is we're going to take that medium brush and we're going to stick it down in the black paint. Go straight out. And then we're going to carefully place the black dot in the eye socket that you already created. Okay. Now, there is some small detailing that you might want to do. Any detailing that you want to do, you're going to do it with your small round because that's your detail brush. I didn't do anything with the stem so I can still use uh, it as a uh, as an easel to paint with. So I might want to flesh out my uh, fins at the top a little bit. So get some just pink, not pink and white, and you're just going to kind of define them a little bit more. Just add in a little bit of definition to them. At this time, if you'd like, you can go ahead and make them a little bit taller, which is what I'm doing. I'm making them a little taller, see? So it looks like the fish is moving that way, <clears throat> and his hair is blowing in the wind, or his, wing, his fins are blowing in the wind. And you're not going to close as wispy. You're going to be a little bit more careful with closing them so that they def they're they more defined. Uh, this one is fine. I think this one is already going and looking, looking like they're going and it's going in that direction moving forward. So I'm not going to do those. But since I did do something to these, then I'm going to have to go back and add the whites or clean that off. Get just white paint. 
Okay, and then I'm just going, and it's still going to be really wispy. So just whisk this, whisk this, whisk this. So that's all I did. Add a little white to it. Okay, that's it. That is your pink. So, your kissing cousins. Okay. There's your second one on that side. All of them look different, but they're the same. Okay? So, let me know how this one worked out for you, and we will talk again soon.